Now there are a few ways that clipping masks can be used in your videos. For instance, you can use them to showcase video clips inside shapes like letters or numbers. Or you can use them to create a screen recording tutorial type video where you can have your talking head in a circle with another video playing in the rest of the frame. For the purpose of this video, we're going to try and create a house tour video where I'll have my floating head on the screen along with actual footage of the house tour playing in the background. The first thing we'd want to do is add the video we want in the background. Now you can always upload and use your own footage. But for this instance, we leverage the inbuilt stock media library on InVideo and search for a video where we are walking through a house that is up for a sale. This one looks good. So I will go ahead and add it to my video. Now, to create my talking head cutout, I'll go to the left panel and expand that menu to find the mask tab. You'll see that there are masks of all kinds of shapes here, including letters and numbers. For the purpose of our video, I'm going to go with a circular mask and add it to my scene. I'll make this slightly smaller and place it on the bottom right to make it look like a floating head video. I'll then upload my clip where I'm talking to the camera and explaining what this video is about and will drag and drop it over the mask to have it added there. One thing you want to be careful about when you're doing this is that you want to ensure you drop the video exactly over the mask area and not outside of it. If you feel that the video has not fit the mask properly, you can head over to the top panel and click on the edit mask to adjust it. You'll also see a few more options here that you can use to trim your video, adjust its volume, change the playback speed and more. Now that I've locked how I want my mask to look, it's time to set when the mask comes in and when does it move out. You can use the timeline here at the bottom to do that. There'll be a layer called masks that you can use to adjust the in and out times as well as the duration of the mask. Once you're happy with how your clipping mask looks, you can preview the full video and hit download and share. Your video will be ready for download and use in under 5 minutes. And that's how you can easily add clipping masks to your videos and create super interesting possibilities with them using the InVideo editor. If you want to learn more such video creation tips and tricks or have questions about InVideo, hop over to help.invideo.io.